Okay, thank you for coming on out, fam, to the house. And we just had to talk about this Beyonce and her country music and who don't like her now and why they don't like all those things. We have to check the boxes. But it's a shame. It's a shame. They want pop stars. They want country stars to fade on over or quickly run over to R&B and rap. But they don't want nobody of Beyonce's caliber to stand out. Now, what they did, I kind of wasn't with it, even though it does have some potential. Um, I really think she should have made just a country song the first time. No remixing. Just speak from a hard hell. They country people, they funny. Um, not living, but they're entertainers is what I'm saying. They funny. Because they'll be like, my dog died, what I'm going to do? Won't you tell me, tell me to a loo? You know what I'm saying? Or their husband done left them. What should they do? I don't know. Drink some boo. <laughs> I'm just, you know I can't sing. You know I can't add Bill when it comes to other people's songs. But uh, I kind of like Chris Brown's song, though. I got into it. Um, what was it? Um sensational yes so many people don't perform that challenge it's ridiculous and then they don't put their own spin in it so i don't even recognize i'm like wait a minute that ain't what he did in his video that ain't what he been what he did in concert because my daughter went to his concert i think it was wednesday of last year i mean not damn wednesday of last year wednesday of last week okay she said she had a good time but chris just caught himself being lazy he was sitting down as much as possible <laughs> Because of all that high power, powerful dancing he does, it will get you tired. And then if you just tired already, you know what's going to happen. People going to sit their asses down before they fall out and have a stroke. But I said all that to say this, okay? We got it from the Neighborhood Talk. Uh, it was titled by uh, them, Y'all Feeling It, Music Producer, Manuel mashups, mixes, Beyonce's text to hold them and to cater, to cater to you or cater to you. And my thing is like this. We all can cross borders, barriers when it comes to making music. It just sneaks out there somehow. I don't know how. I don't know why. But, you know, if you ain't got Charlie Pride, you ain't got Lionel Richie, who else that sound country music? Mm. Shoot, uh, Shania Twain, Twain, uh, and she probably like dancing to Beyonce's rhythm and blues. You know, it's not like okay, let's call it spade a spade. No, everybody trying to get in everybody's uh, genre of music to show the different sides of them. Now I heard, um, what was her name? Kimberly. Well, her name is Kimberly, but ew, what was her name? I can't remember it. Mm, I'm just talking about her yesterday. Hmm. Michelle, okay, okay, Michelle. Uh huh. She had talked about doing um country music about three, four years ago when she uh opened up her Petals and Puffs or something like that restaurant. Child, I still haven't seen it, hadn't heard about it, I hadn't seen no video. Can y'all put me on if y'all see a video, send it to me or whatever? Because I want her to have her accolades just like Beyonce has hers. But she was the only person that brought it to the television screen or social media. Meaning, K. Michelle wanted to basically get into the um, country scene, country music awards. If they can come over here like Taylor Swift, for an example, if she can bring her butt over here to rhythm and blues or try to uh, sing one of Beyonce's songs, then why can't Beyonce go over in her neck of the woods and do the same? I tell you, this discrimination, this racism, it has to go. It has to go, people. Uh, but um, let's see what some commenters had to say under the neighborhood talk um, taskbar. Let's see here. That ain't what it is. Nope, that's it. Keep going. Um, hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay, we go back to the comment section where a few, well, I shouldn't say a few, several of you commented on why is she getting treated so bad for wanting to go over there to our, um, what is it, Country Music Awards and 
sit in their their lane for a while, okay? But anyway, they had one that says flat screen HD. She dropped a country singer song, and y'all revert back to R and B. Why? Well, I'm like that's what Beyonce was. Well, she came out to be pop. Uh, her younger age, um, worth of living, and in her um, adult world of living, that's all she had to do was call on her uh, sisters to help her out, but she's trying to do everything and anything to keep herself and herself alone on this journey of becoming a pop, not a pop star, because she's already was one, but I mean, look at her, she don't trim down so much from doing that renaissance tour, it ain't funny, because Beyonce used to have uh, some thighs on her. Now she looked like a size eight model, maybe four. She already got the height, so we're not worried about that. And she's probably trying to figure out how she can get rid of Jay Z the quickest, the quickest she can. Meaning not unearth him, but to separate business and financial, and even um personal. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes some men want to come back, some women want to come back, and see can we start over? Can where can where do we go from here? I still love you. You still love me. That kind of mess. Okay. But one thing I can say you if it's in the back, if it's in the past, leave it there. Leave it there and, and walk in your present and your future. Okay? Because it's out there. It's out there. Men and women that got dogged by the opposite sex. Okay? Or even the same sex. But let me move back on to some of the comments. It said, um, oh, y'all want R&B Beyonce bad back. Okay? Mm, I don't know. I don't know about all that now. We got uh, Mrs. M- Mrs. Handsome. She says, baby, they are they ate bad. This just made me feel like a sexy cowboy. I see my strip. I see myself stripping off a horse into a sexy line dance. Okay, all right. Um, let's see. Another person gave an emoji where Jay Z is bouncing his head from side to side and wearing those Coca Cola glasses, <laughs> trying to look esteemed or trying to look educated. When we know mm-mm, that's not gonna happen for him. But anyway, um, somebody said Maya West said Beyonce always on beat. Yes, she is. Uh, it's my soul. Hold up, kind of digging it. <laughs> my goodness, my goodness.